Shalom, giving all glory, honor, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and saying the water. Thank you to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, for sending us to give to the Holy Spirit in these last days, Rakakwadash. Double honors are going out to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, along with the elders who rule and teach well. Salutations, peace, and blessings to you, Akim, who are out there laboring on the four corners of the earth, singing this new song, Waking Up the Lost Sheep at the House of Yashar Rala. I'm Shamar Moth, back with another video. And this is really going to be a quick lesson, a real simple, basic, you know, back to basics, if you will. Um, inspired by Vocab Malone and his insanity, his universalism, his Catholicism. Okay, because he continues to push this madness, you know, primarily upon our people. All right. You Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, Israelite foreigners. All right. He's telling you that. As long as you believe in Jesus, okay, you're going to be saved. And that's complete heresy. That's a damnable heresy. Okay. And, um, you know, the, the, the apostles and the elders have, have gone in on him. You know, this is just going to be me coming uh, from a little bit different perspective. Okay. Going into, you know, who the Lord's peculiar people are. Because the Lord never called any other race outside of the children of Israel his peculiar treasure. He only referred to his people as his peculiar treasure. Okay? So, again, real simple. Back to basics. Alright, but sometimes that, that you know that's a good thing. Okay, getting back to basics. Alright? Milk scriptures, you know, are a good thing. Alright? Um... So let's just get right into it, all right. In uh, Exodus chapter 19 and verse 5, okay, and it reads, Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. So see, you Israelites were set up to be his peculiar treasure and to be above all people. Now, did we did were we successful in that first covenant? Absolutely not. Because in our flesh we failed. Okay. However, from the beginning, all right, you tribes were set up to be Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah's peculiar treasure and to be above all people. All right. Which, you know, that shows you that the Lord is a racist, which a lot of people trip over that word. Racist just means you're for your race. Okay. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is for his race of people and no one else. All right. So if you go into the Hebrew, you know, for peculiar treasure, you get Hebrew word 54, 59. All right. Hebrew word 54, 59. Strong's H, 54, 59. Segalah. Segalah. All right, Sagala. All right, Salaki for the pronunciation. All right. Um, go to Strong's, you know, meaning jewel. All right. Um, peculiar treasure, proper goods, special. You know, who are the Lord's jewels? Okay, you Israelites, man. All right. No, again, no other race of people is referred to as the Lord's jewels, all right? Who's his peculiar treasure, all right? Who are his special people, all right? Not everybody, not Christians. And that term Christian is a scornful term. It's a term of derision. It was not a, a uh, uh, you know, it was not a good thing, okay, quote, unquote, to be referred to as a Christian 2,000 years ago, all right? A follower of Yahweh Shai. The Christians were being, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, thrown to thrown uh, to the lions, man. Okay, being crucified. All right now, you got these people today, over here in Babylon, the Great, aka America, calling themselves Christians, and bragging about how they're Christian. All right, it's not about you Christians, and those of you among our people who continue to dabble and practice this Christianity, this plantation Christianity, you're going to be destroyed. At least you repent. All right, who's the Lord's valued property? Who's the Lord's treasure? All right, so Israelites. So 
there's a couple precepts. We just read Exodus chapter 19 and verse 5. This is Psalms chapter 135 and verse 4. And it reads, For the Lord Yahweh hath chosen Jacob unto himself. So who did the Lord choose to receive salvation? All right. Jacob. Who does Jacob represent? The 12 tribes of Israel. All right. It says, For the Lord Yahweh hath chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. All right. Israel for his peculiar treasure. Israel is his valued property. Israel is. Is his special people. All right. This is Titus chapter 2 and verse 14. And it reads, Who gave himself for us. Paul's writing to Israelites. Titus was an Israelite. All right. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. All right, <clears throat> so again, you Israelites and the elect of you right now, okay, because it's all about the election at this point, all right, you Israelites who have repented, all right, the election, you're his peculiar people, man, and you're zealous of good works. We're zealous of good works, all right? What's the good, what's the, the best work, you know, that you can do? All right, go out and teach this word, man. All right. First Peter chapter two and verse nine is one of my favorite scriptures. It's been one of my favorite scriptures for about eight years now. All right, First Peter chapter two and verse nine. And it reads, "But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation." Again, who can this be referring to? This can only be referring to Israelites, man. No other nation is referred to as holy, holy, um, holy. Kadash means separate, distinct. All right, special, sanctified. The Lord doesn't have any other holy nation on the planet Earth that He deals with. He's only dealing with Israel. It says, "A holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should shew forth the praises of Him who have called you." Out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's right. He called each and every one of us who are doing this work sincerely and truthfully. He called us out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Because many of us were practicing Christianity. You know, uh, many of us were eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. Many of us were celebrating all the, the pagan folly days. You know. But not anymore. Now we're in his marvelous light. Now we walk in his marvelous light. You know. Now, to prove who Peter's talking to here, because he's not talking to everybody. Let's go to 1 Peter's. Get out of here. All right, 1 Peter chapter 1, and verse 1. Peter, an apostle of Yahashua Masiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. These are the elect lambs of Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, the scattered strangers. Okay? The scattered. Who's scattered throughout the four corners of the earth? All right, the Lord's people. Okay? Verse 2 gives it away. Elect. All right, so Paul's writing to the elect lambs of Yahweh Bashim Yahashai. It says, elect, verse 2, according to the foreknowledge of Yahweh the Father through sanctification of the Spirit. Unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh Mashiach, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. So Peter's writing to Israel, the election, not everybody, not everybody, man. All right. All right. A couple more precepts out of the book of Deuteronomy, all star scriptures. You know. Milk, Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord Yahweh thy power. The Lord Yahweh thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And this is going to be fulfilled in the kingdom of heaven, you know, ultimately. All right. 
Israel is going to be numero uno, okay? Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 2, For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. Once again, Yahweh Shah is racist. He's the most racist being. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah are the most racist beings in this universe, man. Okay? That's offensive to many people, too. And that's a stumbling block, you know? When you say to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is a racist, that, that, that causes many men to stumble, you know, and be offended. Last precept, <clears throat> it's like it. <clears throat> Last precept. Deuteronomy chapter 26 and verse 18, and it reads, And the Lord Yahweh hath avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people, as he hath promised thee, and that thou shouldest keep all his commandments. Right, because a lot of these Christians are talking about, oh, you, you don't have to keep his commandments anymore. That's the Old Testament. That's the Old Covenant. We're in the New Covenant. We're not in the New Covenant yet. You know, we're, we're in a grace period right now. We are not in the New Covenant. We are in a grace period right now. We're under grace. Because if we were being judged by the letter of the law, we'd all be dead. All right. We're supposed to keep his commandments. All right. To the best of our ability. Now, we don't preach that you're saved by keeping the law. We're saved by grace through faith. But even Paul wrote that uh, we establish the law. Okay. We're out here establishing, establishing the law. All right. Telling our people to uh, return to the dietary laws, for example. You know, telling our people to return to uh, observing the Sabbath, the Sabbath, okay, telling our people to observe the Sabbath days, to uh, uh, observe the holy days, you know, the feast days, the, 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 for example, the Passover, okay, the uh, Day of Atonement, okay, telling our people to quit committing adultery, you know, telling our people to quit murdering one another, all right, because when you go into the Ten Commandments, you know, in Exodus 20 chapter, you know, where it says thou shalt not kill, that word really goes to murder, all right? So we're establishing the law, all right? But these Christians, they'll just tell you, you can eat whatever you want, you can do whatever you want, you know. You just, you just gotta, you just gotta love one another. And yeah, you gotta love one another, but, but how do you show that you love one another? By keeping the commandments, okay? How I prove I love my brother is, I don't, commit adultery with his wife i don't covet his possessions all right I, again i don't murder him i don't steal from him that's how i show my brother i love him so again you christians you're out of your damn minds and you know once you know one more time you know if you're an israelite and you're still in that mindset you're still in that philosophy you know you're still practicing plantation christianity you got to repent all right, because the Lord's coming back. All right, and he's coming. He's going to he, he destroy you Christians, man. Anyways, Lord willing, he was edified by this quick lesson. Yeah, only Israel is the Lord's peculiar treasure. Only Israel is the Lord's special people. All right. And with that, I want to say shalom.